so. So. About Jordan. What about him? So what brings you in? Well. 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 I can't get women to swipe right on me. I can't enjoy sex because apparently I get labeled a slut or a whore. My boyfriend is infatuated with his penis. Wait a minute. You said boyfriend. Jordan said you were his wife. Wait, what? No. No, no, I'm not his wife. We've been together for six years and he still hasn't popped the question. Such a lying piece of garbage. You know what? I'm done. I'm moving out. Wait, wait, wait. Excuse me? No, no. Seriously, he sits there and he takes pictures of his junk? Well, I'm laying next to him just like wishing that he would just touch me or like pay attention to me and, and all he does is sit there and say good work little buddy and nice job to his penis. Tell me more about this little buddy. No, and then he has the audacity to tell me that I need to come in here and talk to you about my shit when I'm not even the problem here and I'm not even his wife. He said, to be fair, that you had trust issues. Okay, what else did you guys talk about in here? Doctor patient confidentiality. I am his girlfriend. And I'm his doctor. I'm gonna murder you two. Okay, listen. I'm gonna need you to calm down right now. Calm down? You're not going to sit there and tell me that women actually take the time to read my profile. So what do you do if you match with somebody that you don't find attractive? Or someone that doesn't share the same life goals and aspirations as you? I ghost them. I don't have time to explain myself to women who don't get me. <sighs> that swipes on OkCupid. So what now? Call it a day? No, I move on to another app. Or you can buy more swipes, but I'm not that desperate. How many dating apps do you use, Corey? Well, there's the main four. Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, OkCupid, but those ones aren't working. I move on to the more desperate ones. Plenty of Fish, Coffee Meets Bagel, Zeus, Happen, Field. But then if those aren't working, that's when I really go for the desperate ones. J-Date, Halal Date, Christian Mingle, Farmers Only, White People Only, Black People Mostly, eHarmonyMatch.com. And how many hours a day do you spend on these apps? Not a lot, like six or seven. You spend six hours a day on dating apps and you don't match with anyone. I don't match with anyone I like. And my standards are pretty normal. 24, 34, 46, good and thick. And what you give her, she'll work with it. Good face and some cute lips, earring in her tongue, and she knows what to do. Yeah, I'm more of a 36, 24, 36, but only if she's 5'3". What's wrong with that? Because apparently that makes me a slut. There's this social double standard, this archaic myth that you as a woman have to be in the kitchen cooking and cleaning. God forbid you want to go out and have some fun and show an ankle or even a kneecap. Yes, I like the D. Okay, Doc, one time, I hooked up with the entire football team and none of them even found out. Like, well, not the kicker. He was this short, stocky, white dude. But then they all found out and the kicker got pissed. What's wrong with short, stocky, white dudes? Everything? Doc, I need some flavor in my life. Please. Don't worry. I mean, I still gave him the pity F anyway. And surprisingly enough, like, he was the best one out of all of them. It was weird because his feet were tiny, but his huh, was like huge, like huge. Like the more that I think about it, maybe if he would have used his thing to like kick the ball, they would have won more games. Hmm. You didn't finish that one. Doc, I don't bite, ew, no teeth. Okay, you're recently single. Which leads me to believe that this is just a societal flaw. And because you didn't get the satisfaction from your last, mm. you're looking for something better, faster, bigger. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I don't think I should be ostracized for it, you know? I mean, 
I like the D as much as you like the P. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't see a problem with it either. Sex is a basic human need, and we have sex for pleasure. To some, pleasure is knitting or going fishing, shooting up ketamine. For you, it's orgasms with a number five jersey, correct? You heard me. I want to break up. This is a whole new level of therapy. White or red? White. So, why the breakup? Jordan is smart, witty, mm -hmm. lovable ish. I have been with someone for six years. Someone who is so obsessed with their penis that they've neglected me, my body. Do you know how hard it is to properly touch a woman? How's the sex like? It's amazing. He lasts about 45 seconds. And I only know this because I saw this commercial earlier in the day. It's my money and I need it now. Okay. So you break up, cry about it like a little bitch. Girlfriends tell you it's him, not you. You know, move on to better things. Then what? Date women. Cancel men. Enjoy a woman's company. Oh, oh, you're serious. Oh. There are plenty of fish in the sea, and what's a fisherman if he only has one boat? The problem isn't the boat. The problem is the bait. You're saying it's me? Yeah. In all your photos, you're shirtless. In some of your photos, you have dog filters. You have a beer in your hand in some of your photos. For what you're looking for, it just says whatever. Best place for a first date, my bed. Clever, right? These dating apps and your addiction to them is creating an unhealthy relationship to women. You're treating them as mere objects. So, what you're saying Let's try something. is... Yes, Dr. Park? Kara, have a seat next to Corey. Corey, ask my assistant out. What? No. She's not my type. You don't have a type, though. You have normal standards. Corey, stop being a pussy and ask me out, Corey. I don't respond well to hostile women. Just fucking do it! Will you go out with me? Good. Here's my number. I like white carnations. Don't be late. What just happened? How does that feel? It feels so good, Doc. Like, this is my drug. Not necessarily. Drugs are an artificial substance that you put in your body. Sex is as basic and evolutionary as one can get. So if anything, I'd say you're normal. Okay, then why are there sex groups for people out there? You know, Californication, David Duchovny, you know, Jack Nicholson, Charlie Sheen, you know? Oh my God, Colin Farrell, did you see the pubes on Colin? What? Like, talk about never trimming the bushes. <laughs> But look at women such as yourself, Amy Winehouse, Halle Berry, Lindsay Lohan, Britney Spears, 2007. Yes. See, sex is great and all, but when it starts to affect your reputation, your career, and others around you, you have to reevaluate yourself. You're right. I just haven't found my Billy Bob yet. Hmm. Oh, gotta go. Um, meeting up with this anthropology professor. Don't really care for him much, but actually the way that he talks about homo habilis is actually really fucking hot. <laughs> so, love you, Doc. Stay black. Oh, stay black. Stay black. Mm-hmm. Mm.
Why are these so good? <coughs> you tell me. Why are men like so obsessed with their penises? Life's unknown question. You know what? You should show your vagina. Excuse me? Show your vagina for the world to see. Why does Vlad get to be pranced around with Jordan and you can't do anything? Um, because that's disgusting. Says who? Society? Remember, society says you can't date with your therapist. Society says you can't date other women. You know what? Screw society. No. You should get into porn. Yes. You know what? You're like so right. Like, I would make a shit ton of money. So much money. Like, a boatload of money. And like, I am hot. Yeah, you are. And like, dudes think I'm hot. Of course we and do. like, women think I'm hot. They so, like, obviously do. Why in the world do I dress so modestly and like, go to work and like, whatever, while like, my boyfriend literally just like, Prances around with friggin' Vlad just like hanging out of his pants. Exactly. So, what's the game plan? What are we doing? Daenerys. Why Daenerys? Because you gotta bend the knee to ride on my dragons. I swear to God, if you and Jordan are related. Winter isn't the only thing that's coming, Doc. And that's the tea. <coughs> wow. Wow what? You're a virgin. Uh, you know, I mean, what's so wrong about that? <laughs> You can't just go around putting your dick wherever you want to these days. Did you know that gonorrhea has risen 67% while sex has declined for the fourth year in a row? And that's not even half of it. Did you know that at any given time, 110 million Americans report having an STD? There are only 327 million Americans. That means one in three Americans has an STD. One in three. One in three. One in, one in three. Are you saying my assistant Kara has an STD? Well, look at the way she walks next time. There's something going on down there. It turns me on for some reason. She must have fucked a lot of dudes to get chlamydia or something. Are you certain about this? I may not know a lot. But there's one thing I know, the scent of a clam. I'm gifted in the olfactory department. Okay. Yes, Dr. Park? Kara, Corey here has something to ask you. I gotta go. Still on for our date, yes? <sighs> Sorry, I forgot my- Oh, God! Oh my God! Get out! Sorry. People. God. 